If you want to configure an ARM IP, first you need to obtain its corresponding IP bundle and associate it with the Socrates IP catalog. This essentially means that you need to provide the location of the IP bundle to the tool so that it can run the necessary configuration scripts and access the different resources from the bundle during IP configuration. The tool also includes all the necessary dependencies that are required by the configuration flows of the different IP products, for example Perl, Python and so on, and sets up the required versions accordingly so you don't need to struggle with them. Now let's say that we want to configure the Cortex-A53 CPU. If we navigate to the Cortex-A53 IP catalog entry, you can see that there are currently three versions supported for configuration and neither of them have been associated yet with their IP bundles. The yellow exclamation mark in an IP catalog entry icon also means that the particular IP version hasn't been associated, so it cannot be configured yet. This essentially means that although the configuration file can still be created, the tool will not be able to render the IP deliverables as per the applied configuration. If you right-click on an IP catalog entry, you will see a couple of options. You can launch the configuration wizard for the selected IP. You can launch the IP bundle association flow. So in this case, you will associate the Cortex-A53 IP bundle with this entry. You can check the association status if you, for example, already associated that IP previously, but you are not sure that the path to the bundle is still valid. You can remove an existing association, or you can view the bill of materials, which will show you the corresponding IP bundles that you need to use in the association process. The bundles that are indicated as required are mandatory in order to be able to configure the particular IP and the others are optional so they are only required to be in place if you want to configure the corresponding IP feature. The right-click menu options are also available in the toolbar and under the IP catalog menu so if you select an IP catalog entry and you click on any of those icons this will have the same effect as if you were launching them from the right-click menu. Now let's try to associate the bundle. After selecting Associate IP Bundle from the right-click right menu, the tool will bring up the association window where you will need to specify the location of the IP bundle. In this case, we have the Cortex-A53 CPU bundle here in this folder, so let's select it. Once it's provided, you can select Overwrite Existing Associations which means that if the particular IP entry was already associated, it will now be overwritten to look for the IP bundle on the newly provided path instead. Once the flow completes, you can see the results under the console tab. So in this case, the tool found and properly completed the necessary Cortex-A53 bundle association. If you now check the IP catalog entry icon, you will see that the yellow exclamation mark and the not associated text disappeared, so this means the Cortex-A53 is now ready for configuration. Although if you take a closer look, you will see that now there is a green exclamation mark in the catalog entry icon. This means that even though you properly associated the main product bundle, there are some optional features that are still not available at this point. In this particular case, it's the crypto and neon FP features, as these require their own bundles, as you remember from the bill of materials list, but we haven't associated them yet. Now let's say that we want to use those two extra features as well. So here in this folder, we have all the A53 related bundles, including the ones for the crypto and neon extensions, MP031 and MP032. Now if we select this parent folder with all the necessary bundles and select overwrite existing associations, you will see in the results that the tool located the two additional CPU features, so now they can also be configured with Cortex-A53. As you can see, the green exclamation mark disappeared as well from the catalog entry icon, so this means that now you can use the full configuration space of the Cortex-A53 product. 
if we now check the right click menu again you can see that there is an additional option available which is documentation most of the ARM IPs have their separate dedicated documentation bundle and if you merge it into the main product bundle as per the IP release notes you will be able to open the IP documentation directly from the tool normally this kind of merging would be necessary for the optional IP feature bundles as well although the tool in that case does it automatically under the hood since here we didn't merge the documentation bundle with the associated main bundle the tool didn't find any documentation to open if we now associate the IP with the complete merged bundle which is this one then in this case you will see that the documentation will also be accessible so if you want you can now open for example the Cortex-A53 integration manual and read it now as you remember we also had the check associations option in the right click menu this is necessary because in certain cases for example if you are using some shared area from which you are associating the IP bundles it can happen let's say that the bundle you were using gets removed renamed or gets moved to another location without you the end user being aware so now if we want to mimic this condition let's rename the IP bundle folder that we associated previously if we now go back to the IP catalog and select check associations you will see that now there will be a red X in the catalog entry icon which means that our previous association is not valid anymore due to the change we did in the file system in this case we now need to reassociate again by selecting the modified folder containing the IP bundle if it's done you will see that the catalog entry icon turned clean again and the console log also shows that the previous association was removed and the new one has been added properly please note that the association related actions so associating IP bundles removing and checking associations can also be done for multiple IPs at the same time if you select their parent directory in the IP catalog for example if we now select the main system IP section launch the association flow and provide the path under which we have all our available IPs then the tool will associate all those IPs under the system IP hierarchy if their bundles are available under the path we specified the tool also provides an additional option for handling associations in a more centralized way if you select IP library path settings under the IP catalog menu you will see that if you set the ARM IP library path environment variable the tool will pick it up and use the path specified by this environment variable to look for IP bundles to associate let's select refresh and overwrite existing associations on startup options and close the tool now let's set the ARM IP library path environment variable to point to our central bundle repository and then launch the tool as you see the tool picked up the specified path and is now checking for associations once it's complete the console will output the new associations you don't necessarily need to refresh your associations on each startup as it can take significant amount of time in case of a large repository although you can manually refresh them anytime from the IP library path settings